But first, Administrator Brian Cummings' calm demeanor disappears when faced with food and drink. He becomes dogmatic, funny, animated, and flails his arms wildly while dispensing his opinion. But you may ask yourself, is his place a liquor store or a deli? Hmm, take the plunge. Venture to Valencia Street to find the best sandwiches in town at a place called Ray's Market and Deli. I'm James Choi, owner of Ray's Market and Deli, uh, Mission's favorite lunch hangout. Ray was a mid-aged Korean woman that opened a deli and a shop in the mid-80s. My parents were the third owners that took over, and I'm currently the fourth owner of Ray's Deli and Market. So the menu I worked on with uh, one of my friends, who's a chef, Ian, who's the owner of a restaurant in the neighborhood called Commonwealth. He was nice enough to take me under his wings, and uh, we trained together for about six months on sandwiches, making fresh mayonnaise, and picking the right breads and the right sauces for different kind of sandwiches. We get fresh baked Acme organic bread every day. We don't even cut it till uh, a sandwich is ordered. I personally make all of the mayonnaise that goes on every single sandwich that comes here. We make our own kimchi, my mother does. She goes to Korea twice a year, uh, picks up these fresh ground Korean pepper from the first harvest, grown organically, and flies it back, and it's been a local favorite. Even though it was hard in the beginning to overcome stereotypes of bad food in liquor stores, um, we made a menu that we could be proud of, um, and now people are not afraid to eat at our liquor store uh, lunch counter. Okay, Brian, this spot really is a liquor store with yep. kind of a deli tucked behind it, isn't it? How'd you find it? Where I work, we take lunch pretty seriously. It's, a, <laughs> it's an important part of the day. And we like to go out and explore local uh, places to eat. And doing a search for sandwiches, it just kind of popped up. And I saw the photos and I said, this looks like a liquor store. But yeah. when you saw the actual sandwiches, they looked amazing. And so uh, I called in a coworker and I said, let's do it. We took sandwiches for about eight people and we figured that either we'd have a great sandwich or the whole office would be poisoned. And yeah, it just, it just the photos looked amazing. Okay, and, so uh, what is the sandwich to get? What is the one that hooked you, line and sinker? Uh, the first one I had was the Korean steak sandwich, okay. which is a piece of marinated uh, ribeye. Mm -hmm. And it's got a soy, ginger, honey consistency. And it's served with pickled jalapenos, uh, pickled onions, and it's got a slice of cheddar cheese on it. Wow. Did you have that one? Actually, I had the one with the roasted turkey and Havarti cheese, pickled red onions, avocado, and we had it toasted on a Dutch crunch. It was fantastic. A good sandwich. Really good. Really right? good. Didn't even know the place was there, but I know it's there now. <laughs> and I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and Beth, what did you have for sandwiches? Um, I myself had the chicken katsu sandwich, and it was just, um, it was a chicken sandwich with panko uh, breadcrumbs. It was cooked perfectly. My three-year-old split it with me and loved it. Um, <laughs> had coleslaw and the pickled onions and jalapenos. It had a spicy aioli. Um, with a tangy katsu sauce and that all the flavors just married together perfectly but I have to say I brought six other people with me so I tried there's everything. There's not enough room in there for six <laughs> people no. is there? And, right. and <laughs> actually <laughs> we they had five um, I, I was surprised that it was um, the liquor store and I was glad we went over the menu previously because um, they had just had a, a delivery so the menu was blocked but we all knew what we were going to have uh, when we went in, there were only five window seats, but the um, I'm guessing it was the owner yeah. brought out a um, bench setting for us. So we had mm -hmm. extra seating and it, he was very, very nice and they were very accommodating and brought out our sandwiches to, to us you. because five of us were children. Right. And I so. want to get back to the, the sandwiches because the way they have it, you obviously had one of the, the deli sandwiches, but they have like the street sandwiches right. named mm -hmm. after streets. And then they have the signature sandwiches, which are the katsu like you had and the, and the Korean beef, right? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. There's there's quite a, a variety to choose from, and it's a place I've been to maybe 15, 20 times. Until I went back for the show, I'd only had two sandwiches, right. um, because it was the, the Korean steak, or there's one called the Van S, which is a... Made after the street, obviously, yeah. Exactly. Right? <laughs> it's a breaded chicken katsu, um, similar, uh, but it's got bacon mm -hmm. and barbecue sauce and cheese on it, and it's another one that, on paper, sounds 
completely nuts, right. uh, but is, is unbelievably good. So every time I go, I force politely a coworker to share with me. Um, and because <laughs> I can't, I need to have both. It's, yeah. it's one of those things where, you know, you, you can't just have one. And um, so yeah, recently those were the only ones I've tried, but yeah, they have a lot named after various streets and they've added a lot recently as well. And you've got to get there before two o'clock or you might not get your sandwich, Absolutely. right? You might, you know, they, they run on, out. That's great. We, we got there on a Sunday afternoon about three and the two signature sandwiches were sold out. Oh. But yeah. I wasn't disappointed with what we had and I'll definitely go back. What about value, price? I mean, I think the, the one thing that's, you know, a lot of people are saying a liquor store or sandwich, they have Acme bread, they have mm -hmm. really good cheeses, they right. make their own kimchi. It's not, you know, Wonder Bread slapped together, uh, right. you know, um, with, with processed cheese. Um, right. Right. Ingredients are really fresh and they clearly care about what they're doing and there's a great consistency amongst the sandwiches. Right. Um, and so the value for you know eight, nine dollars is fantastic. They're very filling. Right. Um, and talk about kimchi a little bit because I saw you shaking your head. The kimchi. Which is the, the kind of cabbage-y, spicy cabbage -y. I'm not cabbage -y. crazy about right. kimchi myself, but mm -hmm. my husband is a kimchi connoisseur and so <laughs> is my mother-in-law. So I um, bought two uh, jars of kimchi. They sell it for eight dollars a jar, which their is their own little, homemade kimchi. It is, yeah. and it's a little pricey. But if you bring the jar back, they'll give you two dollars for a refund. So it's great if you live local. The right. kimchi was amazing. All right, the kimchi rules. So. Okay, this is <laughs> your spot, Brian. So wrap it up for us. Yeah, I think it's um, you know for those that are adventurous, you know you can make good decisions or bad decisions in a liquor store, and this is definitely a good decision. Uh, I think it's a great meal. <laughs> okay, and Beth. The subs were fantastic. I would even go out of my way to stop by there and get sandwiches to go. Oh, wow. And Gary? I think it's a great place to stop in, grab a sandwich, go to the ball game, or just enjoy the area for what it is. There's a lot of shops around there. We'll be back for a signature sandwich next All time. All right. If you would yeah. like to try Ray's Market in Delhi, it's on Valencia 19th in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415 282 5255. It's open every day, 11.30 a.m. until 5 p.m., 6 p.m. on weekends. No reservations are accepted. And the average price for a sandwich is around $10.